and welcome back and welcome to today's video if you haven't already subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and ring the little bell so you can be notified as to when I post videos so let's jump right in so, I thought for today's video I would come and explain to you my favourite thing about farming which is heifers and new life so I can shut the gate I'm coming to the other side of the farm over the road to go and check the heifers, our uh, in-calf and bulling heifers, and I'm going to bring you all along with me. So, let's go check them out. This is my favourite part of farming and my favourite job here is coming to come and see these beautiful girlies that are chilling and relaxing and growing and getting in calf here on the farm. So these beautiful girlies are in calf and also bulling and they're also massive pets because I've rid them from babies so they're not scared of me, they're not timid and they're just in the winter months they live back up at the farm in their heifer shed where they get fed their ration which they eat throughout the winter and we have collars on them so when it shows that they're bulling and they're ready to be served and their heat flags up we then serve them with sex semen they have three chances at sex semen and then we kick them out here in the summer or, or spring actually where they will then spend their time in this field and hopefully if they've not gotten calf <coughs> sorry with us or by AI, then they'll get in calf with Billy the bull and just look at him because he is a stunker of a bull. Here he is. There's Billy. I try not to get too close to him because I'm not a massive fan of bulls, but there's nothing wrong with him. He's actually a very friendly bull, but I've always just been brought up not to go near them. But look at him. I mean, he is beautiful and his calves are great. They're not too big, they're just right for heifer size. I mean, I just love this part of the job. So when the heifers are up here, we come up here every day to check them. This is to make sure for any lame animals. So we need to check their feet and make sure their feet are okay. Make sure that no one's bagging up because if they're bagging up, they need to be brought down to the farm so they can calf and make sure everyone is healthy. But most importantly, they haven't escaped and got somewhere where they shouldn't be because surrounding these fields are silage fields. And the last thing we need is all these girlies getting out and getting in there because I can't think of anything worse personally chasing around after 30 odd heifers in a big silage field. It'd be like Christmas for them. <laughs> do, do you mind? That's, that's my hair, see? Like I said, they, they, they don't care. They will quite happily just come and lick. Hello darling, and sniff you because I've made them pets. And that means when they carve and they come in the parlor, well, they're, they're just stubborn. <laughs> they just expect a scratch off you or a fuss and I'll just stand there and wait. And my own doing, but I'd rather have friendly animals than um, scared ones that run a mile from me. So around every two weeks, we bring the heifers back down to the farm from the field. This is because we like to do a routine check on them. We make sure that anyone who's bagging up can be separated and put in with the dry cows. And anyone who may be lame can be treated there and then. We'll run them through the foot bath just to keep on top of any digi because obviously they're out in the field. It can rain, it can get muddy and sometimes and digital dermatitis can spread a lot easier in muck um, and when it's wet and cold and damp than when they're in a nice dry atmosphere. So let's look at them. I mean, it's my favorite job. I just love these girls and I'm so proud of everything that we've done to achieve them. I mean, they're just, I just love them. I'm so proud of them. They're stunning girlies, absolutely stunning. I mean, and then look at that view, right? They have that for a view. That's what they see every single day. Come rain or shine, that's their view. And, um, 
I'm jealous because that is one hell of a view to have every single day on their doorsteps. They are so lucky.